I'm quite, you mentioned unique, non-unique yeah, yeah. keys. Yeah, yes. uh, may you give me an example for unique keys and non-unique keys and hash tables? How does they look like? Okay, so uh, what I will do, let me just... Um, um, I missed just a picture or, or something to, to, um, to really understand what's, what these words are, okay. are meaning. Okay, so that's fine. So let's, let's go through that. Okay, so this is the Help Library program for internal tables, uh, where there are all the things that um, we were talking about. So, uh, so there are there is um, also um, I try to put here the, the the comments that should be as relevant as possible. Just uh, if 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 something will not be clear for you, feel free to change the the, the comments uh, for your needs. You can keep it as your notes. Uh, for these things, okay, but uh, just let me tell you that there are three uh, types standard sorted and hashed uh, internal tables and there are um, and, and the standard internal tables are always non-unique Okay, we will get to that, but uh, let me just tell you they are always non-unique sorted internal tables They can be unique and non-unique, okay? Uh, contain the key uh, which are unique and non-unique and hashed are always unique okay so when it comes to unique and non-unique the only way or the only type of internal table where you can decide uh, whether it should be unique or non-unique is in the sorted internal table and uh, what it what it really means when I press F8 uh, in the uh, in this help array program so we fill the data um, to each and every type of the table, okay? So we start with the, um, uh, um, uh, with filling up the data. And right now you, you cannot see the, uh, the uh, difference between unique and non-unique. The, the, the principle that we are showing right here is that uh, when we start uh, first uh, row that is uh, being included is 101, then 102, and you see, suddenly see at, that at the end is 105. Um, uh, with the sorted internal table, it immediately sorts uh, the whole uh, key, okay? So key is uh, this one. So one on one, it's, it's immediately sorted uh, automatically without us uh, sorting that uh, manually. And in hashed internal table, um, it looks the same way as it is, uh, as it, as it is looking in a standard internal, internal table. The first point I want to say is that the only the sorted internal table is sorting the data inside. Okay, uh, okay. and and what uh, another uh, right another thing that we were doing was adding uh, duplicates into the uh, into the internal table. So uh, what we have done here that we have added one more new line with uh, with one o three. Um, in uh, row, okay. So and, mm -hmm. and we can see that this uh, uh, that this table doesn't have problem with that because this is non unique, okay. So so they can have multiple um, uh, duplicates, okay, because those those skills don't have to be unique. Oh. And uh, right here in the uh, in a in a sorted table which is non unique, uh, we can do this as well, okay. Uh, so we, if we declare internal table which is sorted, and we declare it, okay, we can have a key which is non-unique. Basically, it be behaves in the same way as standard internal table, but it suddenly sorts out the whole uh, key uh, automatically. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is that is okay. the that is the thing when we are talking about non-uniques. When I get back to the program and search for the part where we are adding. Or inserting new fields. Uh, here I try to also explain all the things about the append and insert, uh, but the main point I want to show you is right here in adding duplicate keys. So what we have seen in the program, we when we append uh, uh, data from structure into internal standard internal table, this is what we see that at the end is added a new line, okay? Uh, this is uh, inserting into sorted internal table with non-unique key. This is what we have also seen in the, in the output. But we, what, we, what we couldn't see is the insertion of uh, sorted internal table with unique key 
and uh, inserting into hashed internal table because what it would cause runtime error because it's not possible. It's not possible to, to add something which is already there. Exactly. Uh, you because cannot override it. Exactly, exactly. Oh. So this is the difference between non-unique and unique, okay? When, you, okay? when we say that it needs to be, it needs to contain a unique key, so suddenly 103, uh, the, the, the ID that we have added to the book uh, internal table, it would cause runtime error. So this is something that is not possible because it would not suddenly be unique. And okay, so this is the uh, this is the uh, uh, the difference, difference between unique and non-unique. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Ah, perfect. Um, so is it enough? Is it uh, enough to understand uh, what is the difference between yes, yes. between those? It's okay. Or does any further questions come to your mind uh, if we see if you see this help library program? If there are still some things. Mm, not sure you're not sure no about. it was just not that clear to me okay. no it's okay thanks